You're listening to the Valley Labor Report. We've got a call to wrap us up. Uh, Mel Sutton is on the line. Mel, uh, you wanted to ask a question. What you got? I was just, I was, uh, y'all had mentioned, uh, y'all had mentioned the two-tier wage structure, and uh, I was, uh, I was a witness to that two-tier wage structure, uh, and the, and it's, uh, and it's sad effects. Uh, the other, the other point I'd like to make, y'all to discuss, is uh, the loss of the fine pensions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sure, absolutely. The, the, the loss of defined pensions is, uh, I don't know, I, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good for the future of, uh, of uh, the labor, I mean, to, to lose these defined pensions. I, and I enjoy my defined pension right now, mm-hmm. it, which was funded by the company I work for. Yeah, well, it was funded by and, your labor. You know that's the, well, it was it was it was right. part it was part and parcel to to the master labor agreement that I worked under. Yeah, mm-hmm. it yeah. was you know we, you know you gave up part of of your uh, of, of what the slice of the pie the company was willing to give to you. So and but uh, but you know these companies have gone after these defined pensions now. What's the future going to look like when? You know the common guy out there on the shop floor. Is he going to is he going to fund those four hundred one k plans? No, because if he, you know, or what happens when he gets ready to retire? When the right as the stock market collapses, as happened, you know, twice in the past decade, uh, and that four hundred one k suddenly, you know, plummets in value. Right as he's ready to retire. Well, and I remember this. I'm, I'll make this point, and then, and then I'll let y'all discuss it. But I, I, I won't ever forget when George, uh, George II won, won re-election, and he was all full of himself, and they were all ready to turn right, Social turn Security Social into the stock market. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. And thank, thankfully, it failed. I remember that very thankfully well. Thankfully, it failed. But now, you know, and you know yourself, Social Security is under fire, too. Yeah. Right. Always. Yeah, I mean, the the defined pension, Social Security, everything that allows us as workers to stop working is constantly under attack because they don't want us to stop working. They want if we stop working, then all of a sudden we quit paying taxes into a system that that's designed to rob from us. Uh, I don't I don't I don't want this to sound morbid, but I envision a future where. The the common guy on the shop floor does not have a defined pension, and in his in his elder years, he's I mean, he's working at Walmart many, as a greeter. Mm-hmm. You, uh, well, how many how many greeter jobs is there going to be? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. How many? Uh, and and with that, I mean, I'll just turn it back to y'all and y'all can, y'all can discuss it or, or not. So, but you know, I just I, you know I just think about the future and and that two tier wage structure, guys. Yeah, it's not good. Great. It's, it's it's not good. It's absolutely really worrying. Thank you, Mel, for calling yeah. in. And that's and you know that that's it's it's, it's and nice the way to, to fix hear it. A caller that yeah, actually right. has some sense. Right, I know. It's, it it, I it is really it it is really worrying about the future about um about workers not having defined pensions. No one except union workers has defined pensions anymore. Um and and tying our ability to retire to the stock market well, is real e- except union workers and bosses. There's a ton of yeah, CEOs well, right, that's sure, got sure. nice defined pensions. But the, how do you fix that? You fix that through worker organization, through unionizing and so if you don't have a union in your shop, you got to get one. David, can you talk to us some about the uh that two tier wage system to to uh, uh, bring us out like why people hear that I think and that aren't in unions and they don't understand like why that's bad. Yeah, I mean two tier wage systems come into place probably uh, in the, maybe in the late eighties, uh, mid to late eighties. I think the first ones to do it was General Motors, and uh, but you know basically what they said is uh, all you auto workers are making too much money. Uh, if you want to continue making all of this money, sell out 
the people that you don't know yet. Sell out the people that we haven't hired yet and allow us to bring them in at $12 an hour instead of $20 an hour. And it, and it's created division in the workforce. And now you've got a large workforce that's making half of what the elder workforce is making. Right. That's exactly right, David. Two tiers are bad. 401ks are bad. Pensions in one tier are good. Unions will help you get them. This is the Valley Labor Report, and we'll see you next week. If you want to see what we are up to throughout the week and get our snide quips about the news of the day, then you should follow us on social media. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Valley Labor Report. We're on Twitter at Labor Reporters. I'm on Twitter at Jacob M underscore AL. If you miss part of the show and want to go back and watch it later, you can search YouTube for the Valley Labor Report and subscribe to our channel. Uh, you can go back and watch the full show there, and we also clip segments and release them throughout the week. We also upload the program on more than 11 different podcasting apps. So to see if we are on your listening platform of choice, you can go to thevalleylaborreport.transistor.fm slash subscribe. We've got a website where you can buy our fantastic union-made hats and union-made stickers. That is thevalleylaborreport.com. Org. And finally, if you appreciate our work and want to help us stay on the air, then consider throwing us a couple dollars a month on patreon.com slash the Valley Labor Report.